All right, I'm going to take you through how to map MPE from push to a couple of the different instruments in live. Uh, I'll start out with uh, Sampler, which is one of my favorites because I use a lot of sample-based instruments. This one's from Electric Keyboards. Uh, the first thing you do is go over to the MIDI tab here, and then you can set slide or pressure to uh, LFO1 amount. I set it to here. I did that because this is kind of like a tremolo on a Rhodes, but you can do it per note, so... Which isn't really possible with the real thing. Um, you'd have to have like 88 tremolo pedals, uh, but it's really cool and kind of natural sounding, so... Unfortunately, you can't change that on push, so you need to transfer that over if you're using standalone. Another cool thing here is that we have it set up so that you can play glissando, so... But push will automatically detect uh, if you have note bend on here, so uh, if I set this to automatic, then I can change the MIDI in here. If I set that to 48, then I'd get... But I like to keep it more natural sounding for keyboard type instruments. Another cool trick from my friend Houston Singletary, you can take an instrument and duplicate it in a rack. And then you can uh, set this one, I put an echo onto the top one, but not onto the bottom one. And then when I go into this setup here, I do a volume of 100 on one of them and of negative 100 on the other one. So now I'm kind of cross-fading between the two instruments. So one that has echo on it, one that doesn't. You can do this with VSTs even if they're not MP compatible. It's not really a echo per note, but it's more like an echo send per note, so. Wavetable's a really cool one on push. You go over to this MPE tab, and now whichever parameter you touch uh, is going to be added to this matrix. So I could just touch that. I could add slide to that. I added it here to the wavetable position and a little bit of pressure to the different edges of the filter, so. On Wavetable, you can also do it directly from push, so any parameter that you touch, you just touch it and add it to matrix. And then if you go over here, you can see that's here and I could add that to slide or pressure or whatever. Drift is a cool one. You go to this mod matrix here. I'm going to add a little pressure to, let's say, the oscillator shape and slide to the low pass frequency. Put that up to 100 and just a little bit here. Now I get this. <laughs> to use tension for strings and clavinets and things like that so like with my roads I get the uh, I get a little sort of a wah-wah per note so I use analog for more Moog type sounds and let's see go into the MP here uh, so I've got just a little bass sound here, but I want to add a little more life to it. Uh, so again, I'll go to my filter cutoff. Noticing a pattern here. And set that to 50. Now I've got... And this is on a Moog would take one hand on the pads, one hand on the encoder. But now I can do... And you can do these sort of shapes with it too, like... to the device, go over to modulation, and the modulation source is going to be slide or pressure, whatever you want, and then you have the destinations here. Meld is kind of similar to how Wavetable works. I go to the MPE tab here. Now I can click on whatever I want to modulate, and let's put a little bit on that, maybe. 
and I want to also modulate this, I just click on it and For meld, if you want to map it on push, go into the device and like uh, on wavetable, I can just touch of something, add it to the matrix, and then it go, takes me right to the matrix where here I could map it. And I want to do MPE, so I can add it to the slide here if I want. Operator isn't fully MPE capable, but you can do MPE pitch bend, so I right click it and enable pitch bend. But I can do things with the expression control device. Uh, I, so I take this and I can map it at least monophonically. So take that and put it on my overtone. And you could do this with any VSTs you want to with this expression control. In collision, you're going to go to the MIDI MPE tab and scroll down. I got it set to mallet stiffness here so I get sort of a On push, you go in and go to the modulation and you take your source. Uh, so I would go to slide and you can see there's a mallet stiffness. There's not a lot you can do with MPE and electric, but you can change the uh, pitch bend. So right now I have it. If I set this to 48, then I can do. One of my favorite things to do is use this with external synths that have MPE. So let's try it with the uh, hydrosynth and you set this to MPE and take the audio from that. And... Some of these can be a bit trickier, like the OB6 uh, takes it on different channels, so I've got this set to the right port, and then I go to MPE, and then I have to go to MPE settings here. And for instance, the OB6 takes MPE lower zone from 2 to 7. You can't set that on push, so you have to transfer this over if you want to use it on standalone.